What's inspired me at Trinity is the range and depth of the collection that we have in the Wren Library. It's quite remarkable. Medieval manuscripts, early printed books, modern books, special collections. The collection is outstanding and wide ranging. My favourite in the collection is surprisingly not the medieval manuscripts or the printed books or any of the other fabulous treasures, which are wonderful, but it's a very unusual collection. It's what we call the Munby Collection. It's a collection of diaries, but in particular photographs taken and collected by a member of Trinity, a man called Arthur Munby, who was born in 1828 and became a student at Trinity in 1848. Arthur was interested in a number of things. He had literary aspirations when he was a student, and when he left Trinity, he wanted to become a barrister. He was a failed librarian, apparently, because he applied for the post of librarian at the Middle Temple, didn't get the job. So he devoted his working life to the Ecclesiastical Commission. He was a civil servant until he retired. Photography was an interest. Munby had a largely private interest in working class women. He married his servant, a woman called Hannah Cullick, and he collected photographs of what he described in his diaries as unbecoming women. They could be female coal miners, dairy maids, maids of work. But he was also interested in the celebrities of the day, people like female acrobats, um, people who were quite well known. Well, we have here photos of some of the acrobats. Um, it appears that Munby particularly favoured Zazel, the human cannonball. We have a photograph of her here, standing at the edge of the, the cannon, about to be fired out somewhere. We actually have in the album photos of Zazel after she'd been shot out of the cannonball. She actually looks all right. Um, we have Miss Leona Dare, um, who looks very glamorous with a little crown. But he was particularly keen on Madame Senya. Madame Senya was a great celebrity of the time, and he collected a number of photographs of her. We have one here of her with her husband, Monsieur Senya, but we have lots of Madame Senya upside down in the trapeze and about to swing in the trapeze. She was obviously a very glamorous and much favoured figure.